Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and on this channel I talk about spirituality, personal growth, the law of attraction, self-development, and all spiritual things. So today I made this video to talk about an experience that I had actually this morning and I just got so excited to share it with you guys because I just, right when I got out of my meditation, I just like knew that I needed to share my experience. So I first just want to explain a little bit. Um, I have been dealing with some really bad anxiety and I've just been, I can't even explain the, like the heaviness that I've been feeling on my heart. And it's because I've been having a lot of family issues, a lot of drama, and it's, it's very hard, you know, to get involved with family and kind of be in the middle because in this situation that I'm in, I am kind of stuck in the middle and I, I'm not a person to choose sides. I am loving all my family no matter what, but I was very hurt in this situation and I kind of just had to really go to source and God and just ask for guidance. Even though I was really hurt in this situation, I have realized that, I mean, everybody is in their own stage of healing. And I think that when somebody hurts you or triggers something in you to be upset, I think that's something that you need to heal from and also the person that's getting mad at you or starting the problems. But I saw this amazing quote in the book, Be Here Now, and I absolutely love that book. It's seriously one of my favorite books because I feel like I can always open it and find a message that I've been needing to hear. So the message said, when you know how to listen, everybody is the guru. And it really stuck with me because I know that every every situation that we're put through, even if it so seems like such a horrible situation to be in, it's a learning experience. And even though somebody has said something to you or has done something to hurt you, you need to look at it as a learning situation. So even as hard as the situation is, if you're hurt by a parent or a sibling or anybody in your family, just know that they have their own healing to deal with. They have their own healing to go through and you can't force that healing on them because everybody goes through their healing on their own and although we can help them in the process, they have to ignite it. But yeah, in any situation you're in, just look at it with an open heart and just know that God, the universe, source, they're all with you and they're protecting you and they're pushing you through these hard situations to help you learn. So now that you guys kind of know what I've been dealing with um, in the past few days, I, I went into my meditation this morning and I laid there and I asked God and the universe to just be with me and to take out the sadness, the pain, the anger, the anxiety, all negative energy and emotions out of my heart and replace it with love so I can give more love. And that's ultimately what I wanted out of my meditation and that's ultimately what we all want in our lives, you know, to be filled with love and to be able to give more love to everyone around you. So as I asked that, I was deep in my meditation and this violet colored, purple, like bright, bright violet, um, this like aura, almost energy came into my vision and my eyes were closed obviously because I'm meditating, but it came into my vision and I immediately just felt this like calming energy go throughout my body and it was almost like a loving, calm energy. And then I saw a presence or an energy with the, with the aura that was with it. And I knew in my heart that it was, it was God, it was source. And it was just a really crazy experience. And I have never felt anything like that before. I mean, I've done, I've done meditations and I've done a lot of different things that will help me connect to God and Source, but I I haven't really been this successful. I mean, I, I know they're there and they give me signs and, you know, there's, there's a lot of ways that we can communicate, but I haven't really been able to, like, get a clear vision of the presence of God. So after I experienced that energy and the presence, I 
I just instantly knew that's what it was. And then towards the end of my meditation, the words popped up in my head, you're almost there. And I immediately got kind of emotional because I feel like I've been on this journey and it's like you want to get to the destination, but the the destination isn't where we're supposed to go. It's the journey. It's what we deal with on the way and all the things that we learn on the way. And being in the present moment is the only moment that matters and constantly stressing about what is going to happen tomorrow and like and having anxiety over what happened yesterday is just not living in the present moment. And so that's what I've learned is I just need to be present. So just having those words pop up in my head as reassurance that I'm almost there um, just really filled me with love and gratitude and I'm just thankful for the journey that I'm on and that I've been able to meet so many amazing people that are on the same journey too. So um, once I was finished with my meditation, I instantly started journaling because I just thought that it was just such a powerful experience. I've never experienced anything like that before and I was just super excited to just start journaling it out and I don't know, I just was really happy that I was able to experience that. So when I was journaling, I was thinking like, you know what, I wonder what that violety purple was like re representing. I mean, I remember when I was doing kundalini yoga for a while, I would see like light orbs and that kind of stuff. I would see like pink and white different light orbs while I was doing kundalini. And I um, remembered like, there, I know that they're, they're probably mean something and the color I know probably means something too. So when I looked it up, I was just like completely in shock because mind you, I know nothing about auras, colors. I don't know what any of that stuff represents, what they all mean. So when I read this, I was just so, I was just so in shock. So I'm gonna read this to you guys because I had to write it down right after I read that and I wrote it in my book. So, um, it says the crown chakra, either white or violet color. This chakra connects us to source energy and is the gateway to our intuition. When it's blocked, this can cause anxiety, dissociation, and headaches. And right when I saw the word anxiety and dissociation, I immediately was like, well, I mean, I definitely have been feeling like that the past week or so and and so knowing that this color this aura came into me i know that it was a way to heal me from that and it was no longer blocked and i honestly feel so much better and i it's a weird thing because you don't think you're gonna feel better in a matter of seconds but knowing that i'm not alone in this and knowing that god and source um is with you like it's just it's just a very um, crazy experience and I'm just very thankful to have gone through this. So I read a little bit more um, online and um, I also read this part and it says, most psychics have purple in their aura, artists too. This indicates the person is in a good spiritual space and is close to experiencing a state of equilibrium and open awareness. Your spiritual nature is following a higher purpose and more balanced reasoning. So, yeah, I mean, I just read that and I was just like, well, I mean, that kind of just shows like you're almost there. I'm almost there at equilibrium where I can be fully myself and connect my higher self freely. And I totally believe it. And I think going through this kind of situation has really deepened my belief even more that we're here and we're here to have this spiritual experience and ascen ascension is part of it and realizing who we really are is part of it and i definitely think that if you want to tap into it you can but yeah i just wanted to share this experience with you guys because i definitely know how it feels to kind of be in a in a spot where it's like you don't really know if this is like legit, like, you know, can you really connect to spirit? Can you really connect to God? Um, can you connect to your angels? Like, is it possible? And after experiencing that, it totally is. And 
I've definitely been there before too and I have questioned um, my beliefs and I've questioned myself and that's why it's just so important to believe in yourself but yeah guys I just I want to tell you that this is so possible like I can't even stress it enough that we're all so capable of doing so much more than what we think we are and it it just makes me so sad to see people not living in their potential their fullest potential of living and doing what they want in their life but yeah guys i i'm just really happy that i have this space and i'm able to share videos even though there aren't a million people watching um it's just it's a really amazing thing that i'm able to just speak my truth and tell you guys about my experience and hopefully spark something in you and help you believe in yourself more and if you guys ever need anybody to talk to you about anything you're going through awakening you feel lonely um anything at all that's on your mind and you just feel like you need somebody to talk to you just message me because i love hearing everybody's story and i love being able to connect with all of you guys and if you guys do want to message me um you can contact me on instagram i will link my um username down below and in the video but yeah thank you so much for watching and um, thank you again for just being there for me and just listening to me and just letting me speak my truth. Um, yeah guys, thank you so much and I hope you guys have an amazing day.